It's Thursday morning. Today is Total Body. I'm calling it Total Tie. My little girl came up with that name. She was very excited. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to work it all today. So what I'm going to say to you is be kind to yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you can't do absolutely everything that we are doing. That's not the point. The point is for you to use excellent form, push yourself, and work hard. That is all I care about. Um, you know that time, like those times you go out with a friend and you're like, oh, what do you want? Oh, we both want wine. Maybe we should just get a bottle. Bad idea. Bad idea. I don't feel bad, I just feel a little slow. Take your fingers, push them back towards me. And I don't do that very often anymore. Thank goodness. Hold on, someone's saying hello. Good morning, Marianne. Give yourself some hugs and then let's get our lower body stretched out. Go into a runner's stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches. Now, it's key that your knees stay behind your toe, your abs are tight, and you let your hips sink. I don't want you bouncing. No bouncing. This feels really good, really opens up your hips. I love it. If you guys have, if you have any injury surgeries, anything like that, if you're in PT, please check before you do these workouts because I do not want you to set yourself back. Okay, so we're gonna do a slow punch, okay? We are gonna do one and one. We're gonna do 15 total. So you're gonna go like this and then like this. So you're gonna be rotating your trunk. You're gonna come up a little bit onto the, um, the ball of your foot. Right out in front, I want sharp, strong, I want everything tight. Uh, I'm going to start with eights. I don't know how far I'll make it, but that's cool. Um, so again, one and one is one, tight, tight, tight. Squeeze, that's one. I can still feel this in my elbow. So I'm gonna drop down. Squeeze and breathe. 10 more. I usually have you do these fast, but the slow moves are really good. Four more, you can do this. Take a break whenever you need to. Drop the weights if you need to, drop down, two, and one. Never any shame in taking breaks, never any shame in dropping down. There's certainly never any shame in going up if that's too, if your weight is too easy for you. So next we're gonna do push-ups. Learn to embrace the push-ups. They're always gonna be challenging. They're always gonna kick your butt and that's okay. Um, it does not matter if you do them in a full push-up position or on your knees. I just don't want you on the ball or on the end of, like right on the ball of your knee. I want you up above it, like the squishy part. So we're gonna do a diamond push-up, which means this is the shape of your hands. I prefer to keep mine about three inches apart. If you're in full push-up position, your feet are together. You lower and push up. We're going to do 12. If you can only get two or three in, that's okay. We have three more. You can do it. Again, if you can only do two or three in and you're new to working out or just getting back into it, don't beat yourself up about that. Child's pose. Now, I am not having us repeat any exercises. We are going to go through a whole series. If we get to the end, then we'll come back to the top, but that remains to be seen. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, you need a heavy weight, because we are going to do a wide squat, a slow wide squat. So you're gonna get wide. You are gonna lower yourself. If you can only go to here, great. If you can go lower than that, great. You're driving up through your heels. Keep your core tight. You're gonna hold for three seconds. Go back to the top. When you get to the top, squeeze. 
squeeze for all you're worth. I'm just gonna open the window. Get a little air. Oh, the sunrise is so beautiful. It is the most brilliant shade of orange and red. So crazy, okay. You guys ready? Feet more than hip width apart. Toes pointing out, your abs are tight. Your whole core is tight, your shoulders are back. Because we only have a, a single weight, you can go heavier. Squeeze at the top. I have a 20. If you're just starting out, maybe you try an eight or a 10. We can do this. If you did legs, this should be burning you up. Well, legs and then yesterday, waves and weights. I like coming up with goofy names. Five more. Two more. Oh, drive up through those heels, squeeze at the top. If you want your legs to be stronger, more defined, more in shape. Uh, you gotta work them. There is no other way. And I will tell you from experience, running is not gonna do it. Okay, next we're gonna get on the ground. One of my favorite ab moves, very effective. Very, very effective. One of the things that helped me get my abs in shape. It is a double crunch. Your feet are off the ground, your shoulders are off the ground. Squeeze your abs, squeeze up. Squeeze your abs to straighten, squeeze your abs to lower. But you're essentially crunching your abs four times in each move. And that is why it's such a good one. We're gonna do 15. You take breaks when you need to. And please don't hold your breath. I know it's really hard. Sometimes when you're like, oh, you're struggling to finish, but you're not breathing and you need to breathe. Okay, squeeze, 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 squeeze. That's one. Knees in, shoulders up, straighten legs and lower. We got this. Come on, squeeze. Five more. Take those breaks when you need to. I know these are challenging. That's why they work. You know, that's the funny thing. If you're getting out and you have not been exercising and you're getting out and you're walking, you should feel proud of yourself for getting out there and walking. To get your body moving is so important. Um, and walking is gonna be great mentally, it's gonna be great uh, for, you know, if you wanna lose a few pounds, it's not gonna give you defined muscles, it's not gonna make you stronger. Maybe a tiny bit, but nothing noticeable. And the complaint I hear from a lot of women as they get into their late 40s, 50s, they're like, I'm just not strong, I used to be strong, how is this happening? And it's like, it's called life, it's called aging, and you can either just accept it and not do anything about it and get weaker and weaker and less mobile and less mobile, or, good morning. Okay, lights on, flash your face, get moving. We're working on getting up on time. Oh, Stephanie, how are you? Okay, YMCA. Y-M-C-A. We all know it, right? We've all done the crazy dance. That is what we're doing. You're just gonna alternate which side you do your C on. But there's a little added, Y-M-C-A, that I want you to open, close, and go back to the Y, okay? You'll figure it out, you'll get in the... Oh, Christy, good morning. Okay, uh, you do not wanna go too heavy with this, to rust me. I'm not kidding. I'm probably going to get through only a couple of these. We're going to do 15. One, two, three, four. Y, M, C, 
A, open back up, back into the A. Y, M, C, A, open back up, squeeze into the A. Y, M, oh, the C is the hardest letter. Y, M, C, A. I am stronger than the last time I did this. Woo, I can tell. I usually would have had to put the weights down. Oh, I'm taking a break. I'm not dropping the weights. Was that seven, eight? We're gonna say that it was seven. And we're gonna do eight more. Drop the weights if you need to. No shame in that. Six more. I know these are a long road home. Now I'm gonna drop the weights. You do not ever wanna go off momentum. You don't wanna move the rest of your body in order to get the weights where they need to be. That's not good. I think we have five left. We got this, Y, M, C, A. Open up and squeeze. Three more. These are kicking my tush. Ugh. Squeeze. Do these with no weights if you need to. But don't quit. We don't quit on ourselves. Holy moly. Those were always hard even without the extra motion that I added because I'm always mixing things up. Always mixing things up. Okay. Love this one, get your ball. If you don't have a ball, get one immediately. Or at least soon. And you can do this on the floor in the meantime. Okay, so you're gonna do a chest press, fly back in and down. So the chest press, you can go heavier. The fly, you cannot go as heavy. So gauge that. Uh, I'm gonna go with tens. And uh, I'm gonna go with twelves. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm gonna try twelves. I am not surgically attaching myself to the dumbbell. I can drop it at any time. So make sure you have enough room. So you're gonna roll out so the ball is on the upper part of your back. The closer your knees are together, the harder you're gonna to have to work in your abs and your glutes uh, to stay on it, okay? I want you driving up through your hip, through your heels, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs, the weights are over your chest, press up, open, squeeze your chest to close and lower. This is a really good weight for me. It's challenging, but my form is good for now. If I sense it starting to falter, eight more. We're doing 15. My glutes are on fire, as are my abs, because I'm having to squeeze so hard to keep my balance. If your core strength is not there, your balance is not good, keep your legs wide, brace your ball, five more. I don't know if I've done this weight before and finished with it. This is progress for me. That is how progress is measured in these workouts. There we go. That is how progress is measured. You do two more reps with a heavier weight than you did the last time. You get through all the reps with a heavier weight than you did the last time. Progress is measured in small but meaningful ways. That is what I will tell you. Okay, and that is why I say take your progress pictures. You look at yourself every day in the mirror, you're not gonna see the changes as much as you do when you do April 1st and May 1st and you're like, oh crap, look at this. This is amazing. I had a friend of mine do it. She didn't wanna take her progress pictures. I'm like, take your progress pictures. So she did it. The one month was 
amazing. I don't know if she'd let me show you, but I'll ask her. It was amazing. Okay, next we're gonna do jump clock. You're going to get in this position, almost like a wide, a little bit wide of a wide squat, not a wide squat. I want your toes pointing towards me. One, two, three, you're gonna jump to nine, jump to three. Three to nine, three to nine. So we're gonna do I think we're, we do this, one, two, three, four. Again, you can go a little bit heavier. I'm gonna go with a 17 and a half. Okay, squat down. You want your knees behind your toes, your booty sticking towards the back. One, two, three. One, two, three. 15 total. you can't do the jumping anymore, you stay low and you walk yourself around, okay? You're still gonna work hard. I think we have six more. Oh my gosh, three more, we can do it. You've got this, how's your form? Check that your knees are behind your toes. One more. Oh, I'm sorry about that one. Sorry, not sorry. It's probably a more accurate description. Whew, have some water. So whenever I go out and have drinks with a friend, I've made it a promise to myself that I'm going to wake up the next morning and work out, and I call it working out the ayahs. Get my ayahs out. When I work out, the fuzziness goes away, my energy is back, and that is what I want. I'm trying to get in a good position for the next one. The next one is snow angels, and you can guess what those are, because we've all done them. You're gonna lay on the ground, okay? So you really have to squeeze your abs super hard. You're also going to hold weights. Normally I would hold threes, uh, fives, I'm going to hold threes. You do not need to hold weights. You do, however, need to breathe and not let your feet or arm, your legs or arms hit the floor. Okay, so we're going to do one. So this is one. We're going to do 15. And we're going to kick serious butt. Squeeze those abs. They are tight the entire time. Talk about a total body move. This is it. We have five more. We can do it, right? Come on, don't quit. Even if you do not have weight, you are still gonna feel that. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Okay. Next one. We are going to do a quick bicep burn. Doing biceps quickly kicks your booty. I'm gonna start with tens. I don't think I'll make it through the whole way, but we'll see. Feet hip width apart, core tight, shoulders back. One, two. Now, that's the pace you're gonna move at. The thing you want to pay attention to is when you come down, full extension, okay? What I don't want you doing is skimping and only coming to here because you wanna make sure you can get it up. It's a lot harder to get it up all the way from the bottom than it is from here. Don't skimp, promise me. So we're gonna alternate, we're gonna move at a good pace. You have gotta keep your core tight your shoulders back. I always have a little bend in my standing legs. Some people prefer to be straight up. Uh, I think I just like to bounce. Okay, ready? Squeeze that bicep. Come on, 
five more. Four, three, two, one. Oh, excellent. Excellent work. Shake it out. Hold on. Alarm going off. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, I love this one. Okay. Now, I love flies. These are flies. And why do I love them? Women don't often think about working their chest. And all I can tell you is after having two kids, nursing one for a year and one for 15 months, you know, they shift, they change, they slide. Um, and obviously you're not gonna be able to change the shape of your boobs, but building those muscles definitely gives you a little lift, a little more volume. Um, and it's funny because I have people like, no way, no way, they start doing the workouts, they're like, uh, my boobs are totally changing. I'm like, I told you. I told you, you should listen to me before. Okay, so we're gonna do incline flies. I'm gonna go with a 10. So you want to sit on your ball. You want to roll off your ball so that you're about five or six inches off the ground. You have got to keep your ab tight, abs tight, and uh, I want you to drive up through your heel. If you need more stability, legs are wider, a little more of a challenge, your legs are together. I lay my head back, you lift above, open and close. We're doing 15. If you do not keep your abs tight, you will not be able to stay on the ball. Also, your ball should not be super squishy. You want it firm, because that makes it harder to stay on. <sighs> Five more. This was definitely the right weight for me. I love this one because I also feel it in my biceps, and that is definitely an area that women always want to increase the strength, the definition. I hear it all the time. I want my arms back. Okay, next one. At least we get on the floor for this one. How are you guys doing? I love these workouts because I feel like they go so fast. Okay, I am going to go with a 17 and a half for this one, you do not have to use a weight, you will still feel the burn. You're gonna drive up through your heels, squeeze your glutes and your abs as hard as you can, pause, and then lower. I don't want you coming all the way down and resting. I want you to tap, back up, squeeze as hard as you can. A weight increases the resistance. You might wanna put a towel down. Um, again, I'm using a 17 and a half. And I'm going to see how it goes. 15, squeeze. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, five more. extra squeeze at the top is what is going to get you a phenomenal burn. I probably should have gone a little higher. Um, I probably should have gone with the 20. So I'll remember that for next time. I'm actually going to get myself like 22 and a half. I think that's a thing. Um, just to have it, I'm not going to do it till I move because I don't want to move 50 pounds of weights, you know, that I don't have to. Oh, I love this one. How are we doing on time? We're doing excellent. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is Spider Girl. So, okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to walk, walk, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. If you cannot get your knee to your elbow and you're mad at yourself for it, I'm gonna get mad at you. 
don't beat yourself up. You get that knee as close to the elbow as you can. If you cannot be in that plank position and do the move, uh, you can stay in a plank, on, well, not a plank, but you can stay in like modified push-up position, but I would recommend you just go in a plank and you hold it as long as you can. When you need a break, take a break, get back into it. You don't have to do the side to side if you're just starting out and that's not working for you, okay? So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. We're gonna do 15, I know. And we're gonna go at our pace and see how we feel. Squeeze, everything is tight. Squeeze your obliques, squeeze your obliques. Eight more. If you need a break, take it. We have five more. We don't quit ever. We have two more. We can do this. Let's go. <sighs> Sit back. Arms out in front. I told you I was going to do an ab blast, but I'm actually doing a shoulder blast. But what do you guys want? I'll do whatever you want. Do you have a preference? <sighs> Shoulders are good. Shoulders are good to work. They don't get much of the glory, but having strong shoulders has been life-changing. Um, okay, I am gonna do shoulders. I will do abs tomorrow for our bonus blast. So the first thing we're gonna do Look, we got done like two and a half minutes earlier than I allotted, which is pretty awesome. Okay, five minutes. So we are gonna do a shoulder hold. Do not go too heavy, I'm grabbing fives. We're gonna do hold out in front. Oh wait, you guys wrote back to me. Abs. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do shoulders, this shoulder, because we got done a little bit early. So I'll do shoulders, abs, shoulders, abs, shoulders, abs. And we'll do a seven and a half minute uh, last. Whew. When you need a break, you take your break. Three to four seconds, you get back in. Keep those abs tight. Okay, three, two, one, out to the side. And who said they're not coordinated enough to do spider? <sighs> I find that hard to believe. I am dropping down to my threes. Keep your abs tight, squeeze those shoulders, breathe through it. I know. Shoulders are a little harder to feel progress on simply because they're so hard. Even when they're strong, they're hard. Three, two, one, done. And I don't think most women think about working them at all, and you absolutely should. You heard it from me. Okay, we are gonna do an ab exercise. So what we're going to do is we are going to lay on the ground. Uh, you're going to move side to side. Now, the, your shoulders and arms need to stay flat on the ground. The small of your back can come up a tiny bit, but not too much. You need to fight against that. 
Okay, let's go. Squeeze, you have to squeeze really hard. Keep your knees and your feet together. Your knees are gonna move around a little bit, but you squeeze, squeeze and breathe. You're gonna want to hold your breath. Do not let the small of your back come too far off the ground. That's what you're fighting to keep down. That's where the work is gonna go. Whew. Come on. Oh. Squeeze. I know, believe me. We got this 10 more seconds. Squeeze, fight for all your worth. Come on, finish the minute. Quitting on yourself is no longer an option in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, our shrubs get weight. You can actually, I'm gonna do tens. You can go a tiny bit heavier with these. I prefer to call these I don't knows. Feet hip width apart, shoulders tight, I don't know. I don't know. Squeeze them. You want your shoulders as far up by your ears as you can get them. Keep going, someone's saying hi. Dawn. So you heard my plan, Dawn. We're gonna just go back and forth till we run out of time. Now, the great thing about these exercises, doesn't matter what, we're working at the moment. Your abs are getting a workout because you're keeping them tight. Woo! I'm going to drop down now. I feel like my, I don't know, is we're getting a little uh, small. You want the biggest range of motion you can get. Holy cow. Good job. Okay, now I want you to grab a weight. And I love this one. You don't want to go too heavy. Call these reach arounds. So you're going to hold the weight. I want you to lean back. You're going to put it behind you in the center of the mat. You're going to come back around, grab it. Then you're going to go back around and you're going to alternate. One minute, and then we'll have to be done because I have to get my children ready. Down, place it, do not drop it. Grab it, reach around from the other side, grab it, come to the middle, go back. I know, and remember you're leaning back, so you really have to keep your abs tight. Do not thump the weight down, don't throw it. I am all about getting that rotation in your trunk. I know, squeeze. If you need to lose the weight, go ahead and do that. But do not quit, finish the minute, because then we're done. Then we're gonna stretch, and we can all get on with our day. Three, two, one, done. Good work. Lay back, stretch your hands and feet as far away from each other as they'll go. Pull your knee into your chest. Pull your other knee into your chest. Then I want you to fold over, put your knee on the ground, your hand on the outside of it. Gently push it towards the ground. Feels so good. Other side. Get on all fours. And I want you to round your back. Love, love. Lace your fingers behind your back. Lift up. Stretch.
stretch out those biceps, your chest, as we worked it all. Press your fingers towards you. Thank you so much for joining me tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think I'm gonna split up the workout. I think I'm gonna do 15 minute abs, 15 minutes, I don't know, and then a five minute blast. So I will post later and let you know what I'm gonna do. But thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. It means a lot to me, bye.